everyone, welcome to my channel. I am the Scottish Crafter and I'm coming on to show you how I made this. I'm calling it the double envelope flipbook. Now, um, I was inspired by a flipbook that I received a while back from Tony Raptor. Um, it was like a singular version of this, slightly, obviously it was different sizes and things, but um, I've took my inspiration from Tony and a few other ladies here on YouTube have made different flip books and things. Now I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to show you something. This has been a labour of love. So this floral happiness by Crafts for You or Crafts You Create um, is the pad that I used. It had 24 sheets, and look at what I've done. I made so many mistakes. I had to look at all these different envelopes. Um, my measurements were off. Look at all these bits of card. I used the whole 24 sheets. Yep, whole 24 sheets. Look, all these ones are the wrong size. I will still be able to use these. I'll make these in envelopes in the future. But um, <laughs> I butchered that pack, coming up with the sizes and the correct measurements. And then I started on this one. I think I've got three or four sheets out of this one. So I've finally got it to where I want it. So what is it? It's basically a flip book, an envelope flip book that you can send in Happy Mail and gift lots of goodies in. So how does it work? Here we go. Open it up. I have velcroed it all now. Um, it's really big actually. This is an A5 envelope and it's all this 250 GSM card. Although it's and it's still actually quite thin, um, so there's lots of room in it to put goodies in. So, open it up, let's have a look. It flips out. You have one envelope, two envelopes. Now, all the envelopes in here are velcroed. There's tons of space, as you can see, to put lots of goodies in. Let's see if I can get some more light on this. Um, yeah, to get lots of goodies in. And then you have one on this side. Again, that opens up. And then, this is why it's called a double flip book. Um, because the one I received and the one the other ones that I have seen only had this part, this main outer part, which is beautiful on its own. But I thought I wanted to take it a bit further. And this is where I started to get a bit wrong with the measurements. So you get that one. And then again, this opens up and you have a smaller one inside. It opens up to another two envelopes. So you have this side. You can put lots of goodies in. You have this side. Again, lots of goodies. And then I used um, Project Life cards, 4 by 6 Project Life cards. However, you can just use 4 by 6 pieces of card and I will show you that when I'm doing this one. So this flips out and on this side I've made a tiny little envelope. It's a 2 by 3.5. So you've got space to put little ephemera in there. And then this side flips out and I made a belly band here with another little envelope, two by three and a half, to put more goodies in. And these are card envelopes, like I said, 250 GSM, so they're really good quality. Um, they're not going to fall apart when you put some ephemera or lace or whatever you want to put in them. And then I just put a project life. Now you can see I haven't decorated this because it's just the bare bones and obviously everybody decorates things differently so I didn't decorate it yet I just wanted to show you how I made it so that you guys can make it too if you want so yeah so that flips in that flips back this envelope flips in so this can be full of goodies this can be full of goodies this comes up and that bell goes down this one full of goodies that one full of goodies this flips up sorry got my window open if you can hear that motorbike outside there and that one flips down and then you have a lovely gift that you can send to somebody so that's what we're going to make okay so let's get started so we need an envelope punch board as you can probably tell by the um, title of this video I was gifted this by uh, Wendy Love and I absolutely love it I've been making bows I've been making embellishments and now I'm making this flip book obviously I've been making other envelopes as well so this is what you're going to use to make this flip book. Now, 
Okay, I'm just checking on my light. I know it's not the brightest in here just today. Let's see if we can get some more light on the subject. Okay, so what we're going to need first of all is a piece of card. I'll pop this to the side just now. A piece of card that is 11 and a half by 11 and a half. Now, like I said, I've used the, you can use like your craft sensations pads or any 12 by 12 card that you have that's 250 GSM and above. The 250 is perfect because it's not too thin, it's not going to fall apart. When you put goodies and things inside it, it will hold its shape and it's not too thick like 300 GSM that you can't fold it and things like that. So, this is perfect. 250 GSM. Now, um, okay, so it's 11 and a half inches. Everything I'm going to work in is inches by 11 and a half inches. So let's take it to the envelope scoreboard. Punch board, sorry. Now, as a little tip that I worked out today, obviously when you're going to make your envelopes on the punch board with something this big, this is the largest size envelope you can make. It is the six by eight and a half, and it's on the third column, and it's right at the very bottom, and it's the A5 envelope, six by eight and a half. So when you're going to score this, it's going to be hanging over the edge, you're not going to be able to score it. So I'm going to show you what I do. So this tells you 6 by 8.5, 11 and 11, and 11 and a half by 11 and a half inches, and you score it on 4 and 7 eighths. Okay? So we pop it in, we go to 4 and 7 eighths, punch it. Oops, sorry about that. Find a little ridge and go down to the edge. Now, if you can see here, it's hanging over. So what I'm doing to make it easier is at this stage, taking it off the board, following the score line, and then just creasing it down. Because that means when you turn it and take it back to the punch board, your score line is going to be right to the edge now. Whereas if I didn't do that, it only was coming to about here. So now I've got my score line right to the edge that I can line it up. And this is just for two of the sides of this envelope. As you can see on this side, it doesn't come right to the edge. So I thought that was a handy wee tip. It just made it easier rather than guessing. So again, I'm just going to take it to the edge as far as I can. Fold over my score line. And... Use my, I use this big paper mania one folder, it's just big and chunky and it's, I like it. And then, again, turn it again, slip it in, line it up with your score, um, what do you call it, your score point, score guide, sorry, score guide, line it up with your score guide, give it a wee punch, and just score it okay so this is the main part of the flip book this is the large part wow these colors are really really bright but I actually like this pad I really like it I think it's just it's nice it's bold but it's nice I'm actually going to flip it over <laughs> Um, it's bold on the other side but not as bold as the orange so decide which side if it's double sided card you're using what side you want to be the front and the outside skin of your envelope ok so now we have this part um, I know that's not all totally in shot but for the part that we're working in I will always make sure that that, that is in shot just now so then what we need to do is get our two envelopes for on this part. So the part we're going to work on now, if I show you on this one, is these two parts here, okay, that flap out. So what we need for this part is two pieces of card because we're going to make two envelopes and I've already done this one. Um, that's just so that you don't have to watch me doing it twice. So for this one, you need um, two envelopes that are four by six, okay? So we'll go back to the envelope punch board. Now this piece of card has to be eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter, and that makes your four by six envelope. So, um, take this off here. 
you can check it, I mean I've given you the, I'll give you the measurements but you can double check it on your envelope scoreboard. Punch board, I keep calling it a scoreboard. So we're going for the 4x6, so if you look here, we have the 4x6, okay, and it tells you they are 8 and a quarter inches by 8 and a quarter inches, which is what we've got, and we need to punch this and line it up at the 3 and 3 eighths. So we'll pop it in and we'll go to the 3 and 3 eighths line. So this one doesn't hang off the edge, so you can just go ahead, take it round, line it up. Score marks in. This board is amazing. It makes making envelopes so easy. I was using my Crafters Companion Ultimate Pro, which I love, but this just seems to be faster and I just love it. So, oops, help if I punch that bit. Sorry, guys. There we are. Okay, now I'll take all these bits out of the way. And I'm just going to garnish these to reinforce them because it's 250 GSM. I want it to be nice and crisp and stay in place like so. So now we have two. I know I've just showed you doing one, but you have to do that twice. Um, envelopes. So let me make sure. You want to make sure that your pattern is facing the right way up because your envelope essentially is going to be like this on the side so that it closes like this okay now what I'm going to do is use my wet glue you can use double sided tape but like I said because this is going to have lots of goodies and things in it I like to make it extra strong so let's see which way I'm going to do this so I'm just adding my sorry about the shadows guys a wet glue up here okay pop that down just close it over and this is obviously just making your basic envelope shape like that now what I do and you can do this actually before you glue it I just forgot to say is take off the little triangle at the top of my envelope and just straighten it off there so we'll do that with this one as well quickly just glue it up here and stick it down chop off that piece give it a good press ok so let's go back to the shell of our envelope make sure that we have it the right way and now what we're going to do is adhere these envelopes make sure they're stuck down I've not gave that one much time so this flap is going to be this part okay so you want to adhere this one onto here so all I do is go in again with my wet glue I hope this is making sense guys any questions at all just leave them in the comments box or email me and I will get back to you ASAP as you can see it is quite simple and if it's hard it's just the way that I'm explaining it but you've honestly once you've done one of these once um, and if you get stuck like I said just ask me so I'm just sticking that in there and what I do is close it over and just give it a good press down to make sure that it's totally stuck so there we have our main our sorry not our main one of our envelopes that opens up and we're just going to repeat the exact same process on this side okay making sure that the flap is going out the way to the left on this side so that it opens up nice and easy stick this down Again, close it over and just give it a good press. And at this point, you can close them both and make sure that they are just like so. There we go. Then, okay, so that is us done that main 
part that is your now you can leave it at that if you didn't want to make it a double one you could make it at that and then you could go on to decorate this inside part however you wished however i'm going to make it a double um double flip book double envelope flip book so the next part we're going to do now is the inside part this main envelope part here okay so what we need for this part is a piece of card that is 10 inches by 10 inches okay and this makes a five and a half by seven envelope so if you look on your envelope punch board you go for the five and a half um here we are five and a half by seven it says a seven beside it 10 by 10 inches and you score and punch it at four and a half inches so we'll go for four and a half which is i can't even see because i'm blind at the back there we go four and a half and again this one hangs just over the edge a wee bit so i'm just doing the same thing again and just creasing it down before i turn it round it just makes it easier to follow the score guide and it's only on two inch um, on two sides sorry and it's only because the card is so big so you just do that take it off fold it down take it back to the guide and score it again so now we have the inside that I'm just checking which way I want it, probably that way. Now we have our inside envelope and all we're going to do is exact same process. So what we need now is two pieces of card that are seven and a half by seven and a half. And this is to make a three and a half by five and a half envelope. And you need two of these. So this one I've already done. This one take that off here so we will look for our three and a half by five and a half um is that what i said yep three and a half three and a half where are you 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 three and a half by five and a half and it says gladstone beside this seven and a half by seven and a half card and you score it at three okay so punch at three turn it line it up so you can see the pattern in this is really easy. It's just repetitive. You just keep going around like so. Oops, come out, come out. A wee bit of card stuck in there. Turn it around. Line it up. So my craft room is smelling lovely. Denise, if you've seen my fan mail that I got from Denise, sent me an absolutely beautiful reed diffuser and it smells gorgeous in here. Okay, so now we'll just do the same with this one. I just had a wee bit of extra card there, I hadn't cut it very straight. Okay. I'm just folding these over, giving them a burnish. And I really like this card, that's really pretty, I think. That's a really nice one. So, again, this is a really simple part, and if I remember this time to take off my jagged bit, and then I'm going to go in with my wet glue. And just make my wee envelope. I love this. I can see me making quite a lot of these. They're so nice for friend mail because you can absolutely stuff them full um, of all different bits and pieces. But it's something, it's handmade, but you can fill it with things that you've bought as well. So it's really cool, I think. And then the next one, we'll just make sure we've got that the right way. And pop on the glue there. That and as usual, I forgot to take off my jaggy bit, so I'll just take that off before I glue that down. 
told you. I've got a memory like I said. Okay. So then press that down. So then we're going to adhere these to our smaller um, envelope. And all we're doing again. Now, these envelopes are the closest size that I could get to this flap. I tried, like I showed you with the pads, I, sh I tried and I tried to get it the closest. <coughs> so I will be trimming off a little bit here. So you don't have to take it right to the edge of glue. You can leave like an eighth of an inch on this bit. Or just, or you can glue it and just wipe it off if you want. But So I'm just going to pop that down there. Like that, close it over, make sure it's it can close, and that's part of the reason as well. I close it at this point to make sure that it is um, going to close over. It's because I didn't burnish that part. So it's important to burnish it because it makes it a lot easier to fold at this point. Okay. Making sure that I have that straight and as far in as possible. And then I'm going to wipe that wee bit of glue off there. Now if you can see what I mean, there's a little overhang past the envelope. All I do is go and snip that off. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I, you know what I'm like for attention to detail. I like it to be as perfect as possible. So just snip that wee bit off and there you go so that makes it that it's the right size now for this envelope and why did I not burnish that side either again exact same thing oops throw your glue a bit that's part of the tutorial you must throw your glue a bit <laughs> so I'm just going to let this a wee wiggle and pop that down on there like so close that over and then close it down okay okay just get that a wee press and then cut off the wee extra bits On that side and then the wee extra bits on that side okay and then I'm trying to get this as straight as possible with it it doesn't want to go there and I've missed a wee bit to cut off there Okay, so we now have the bare bones of the envelope flip book. So you can see that goes like that, that goes like that, that goes like that, and then we go back to the original part that we've done. Make sure I've got it the right way, the way that I want it, which I think is that way. Um, is it? No, it's that way. And we're going to stick the other one inside and this is what makes it the double so all we're going to do is turn this over put lots of glue on the back now if you're not using wet glue i really would suggest that you use the red liner tape the ultra strong because obviously this will come off and you don't want that so Pop it down, line it up. Now I just do this by eye. You can measure it round about if you want to. But you know me measuring guys, so I just try and let it eyeball it, make sure that it's straight enough and give it a really good press down, wiping off any wee bits of extra glue that I can see popping out. And then what I do is fold it in, fold it in, fold it up, fold it all in, turn it over and give it a really good press 
and this just encourages the glue to spread out evenly underneath the envelope and gives it a really good um, adheres it really well sorry so there we go let's open it up and you can see now we have our double envelopes and I think that looks really really cool in the inside what I've done in this one you can see this one's a lot more pastel so in this one like I said I used the project life cards okay which you can do these are just a 4x6 project life card, so if you have them, absolutely fab. But for people that don't have project life cards, it's absolutely not a problem. What we do is take a piece of this card. And I don't think, no, I was going to say, I don't think I have a bit big enough. That's nice, isn't it? That's lovely. Let's take this piece. Move all that out of the way and bring in my trimmer. Oh, my shoulder is killing me. That's because I've sat here for ages trying to work out all these measurements. So if I'd have just done it and that would have been it, it would have been fine. Okay, so we want to go for... Oops, move that out of the way. We want to go for four inches by six so now we've got two four by six if you want to make them different you totally can but I'm just going to use this for demonstration purposes but if you want to use two different ones you totally can so then bring this in here now let me just see what side I put my other one at yet so this is going to go in here and it's actually slightly too long so take the two of them together well this one actually is alright you only need to take one of them forget that scratch that take one of them and take maybe like a quarter of an inch off just a wee slither off so that it fits let me just double check it fits now and yeah it does so what I do to adhere this pop it down the right way <laughs> the way that I want it and I use some washi tape so I've just got some nice floral washi tape here so it's quite neutral compared to the rest of the book but maybe that's a good thing I'm going to turn it on its side so that I can see what I'm doing and make sure the end of my washi tape has got a nice straight end on it take it to the card and only put put it half on and half off the card so you have to leave maybe I would say about quarter of an inch just over quarter of an inch between the envelope and the 4 by 6 card that you're putting down so that you have space to put your tape down and put the tape half on the card and then half on the envelope underneath so that it's oops so that it sticks the card down and then cut it off level with the card like that stick it down flip it open and just give it a good stick down again and then this time I'm going to turn it this way and I'm just going to do the exact same thing again so half on half off and stick it really well and then give it a wee cut off level with the card so that gives you now um, this tape that I'm using, I actually chose it because it's really sticky, but even still, I will probably go in and reinforce this. I did it with the other one and put glue underneath the washi tape, just because it's a mechanism and I don't want it to come off. Now with the other 4 by 6 card, I'm going to turn it this way, just so that we've got something slightly different. And then, exact same technique, pop it this way so that I can see what I'm doing. Quarter of an inch at this end, sort of make sure it's quite central where you want it and pop the tape on like so yeah so definitely I will go back and put some glue on the washi tape but right now I'm aware of time so I'm just going to pop that down there 
like that and chop off the excess, stick it down, give it a really good press and there we go. So now what we have is our little flap up and our flap out and this is where we need to make two little small envelopes so we'll just pop these to the side and for this one we need two pieces of card um, that are five inches by five inches and this makes the two by three and a half envelopes so go back to the punch board and then we're going to score and punch this at two inches on the board so score it Okay, all the way around, same again, same technique, nice and easy, that's what I love about this board, so simple, and line it up, punch it, and there we go, that is our other small little envelope, actually I'm going to do this one this way because the other one is the other way, and I'm going to take a little triangle off my flat again burn the sheets all down like so and we're just going to go in with our glue make our small envelopes can you see it because of that tape one side and the other side Look how cute these wee envelopes are. Wee dinky envelopes, aren't they lovely? Wee dinkies. And then this one, we are going to go this way actually. That's right, yes. So I've got the opposite. And there we are, another wee envelope. Glue everywhere, as usual. Fold that down. And oops, I forgot to take off my wee triangle just to make it neater. You don't have to do that, but it makes it a lot neater. So I'll put them down and give them a good squeeze. Then bring envelope flip book back in. Now I want these on this one, I want to open this one up, and I'm going to have this pink one here. So I'm just going to go in. pop on my glue, put that there and that's just an extra lovely little envelope pocket to put some more goodies in and then this one here I'm going to open up this flap and on the inside here I'm just going to make a little belly band so 